And sa video na to, pag-usapan natin yung latest update related sa travel ban dito sa Japan. So nag-start na nga ang pagpapapasok ng mga turista dito sa Japan noong June 10. At so far, 1,300 pa lang daw ang nag-apply para makapasok dito. Hi guys, this is Alan. Welcome back to this channel, Gaijin World. More than 1,300 people have applied to travel to Japan on guided tours since the country restarted visa procedures to accept some leisure visitors from abroad a week ago as worries about the COVID-19 pandemic wing, a government agency said Friday. Ibig sabihin nito ay nag-apply pa lang pero hindi pa sila total nakakapasok dito sa Japan. Dahil nga previously nabanggit ko na may mga misunderstandings or mga hindi pagkakaintindihan sa nirelease na guidelines para sa mga turistang papasok dito. Koichi Wada who heads the Japan Tourism Agency said at a press conference that over 300 applications have been received for June with around 1,000 from July onward. So ganun pala kababa pa yung papasok dito sa June. Yung mga nag-apply ay 300 pa lang. Then yung 1,000 ay para sa pagpasok sa July. The very first group comprising a small number of people arrived in Japan on Wednesday, he said, without revealing their nationalities. Wada said he expects entries to Japan to rise slowly with most of the arrivals coming mainly from Southeast Asian countries as well as South Korea and the United States. Tour participants to Japan are requested to observe infection prevention measures including wearing masks and are asked to take out medical insurance in the event they contract the coronavirus. So, isa sa mga requirement para ikaw ay makapasok dito sa Japan ay bumili ka ng travel insurance para in case na magkasakit ka dito ay meron kang magagamit dahil dito sa Japan ang may mga insurance lang dito yung may mga long-term resident uh, visa. Operators of package tours are required to explain to customers that they may not be able to travel if they do not follow the guidelines. Tourists need their travel agencies to enter their travel information such as names, passport numbers, and their place of stay on the country's immigration registration website before applying for and obtaining visas. On June 10, the Japanese government resumed procedures to accept foreign tourists taking the initial step toward increasing inbound tourism for the first time in around two years. The relaxations are limited to people from 98 countries and regions deemed low risk for coronavirus transmission including the United States, Britain, China, South Korea, Indonesia, and Thailand. Japan has slowly lifted its cap on entry numbers, most recently doubling it to 20,000 on June 1. So, kumalala ninyo, nag-start itong pagpapapasok nila ng mga foreigners from 3,500 hanggang sa ito na nga pumasok na ang June ay naging 20,000 na. Before the pandemic, the country had aimed for 40 million foreign visitors in 2020 when it was originally scheduled to host the Olympic and Paralympic Games which were postponed for a year. The government has indicated when it will begin allowing individual travelers again. It has said appropriate decisions will be made and further relaxations based on factors including the infection situations at home and abroad. So, mamaya alamin natin yung recent cases ng COVID dito sa Japan kasi makakaapekto ang paglobo ng cases kapag uh, dumami yung mga papasok dito sa Japan at uh, doon nila ba ipabase kung halimbawa magkakaroon na naman ng travel ban dito. Dahil nga sa lumalalang economy ng Japan ngayon, ay importante na makapagpapasok na sila ng mga turista dito para medyo sumiglag-sigla naman. Dahil pag ang um, yen ay bumagsak, ibig sabihin lahat ng presyo dito sa Japan, lahat ng mga consumer products ay magtataasan. And according pa rin sa GG Press, Japan to expand tourism campaigns scope nationwide in July, the Japan Tourism Agency said Friday that it will launch in early July a tourism promotion campaign covering the whole country. So ito nga yung tungkol dun sa go-to-travel campaign na mukhang pas mas pagagandahin pa nila para mas maingan yung mga turista ang pumasok sa Japan. For trips using public transportation, the new campaign will offer subsidies of up to 8,000 yen per person per night to cover users' travel expense. O diba, napakaganda nun. So 
So, per person, tapos per night, ay magbibigay ng subsidy or mag-offer ng subsidy for public transportation. Itong campaign na ito, worth 8,000 yen. Ayan ha, 8,000 yen per head, per night. Para lang ma-cover yung expenses, travel expenses, nung babiyahe. And provide a coupon worth 3,000 yen per person that can be used for shopping and dining out at travel destinations on weekdays. Oh, malaki laki na rin yan 3,000 yen. So, 8,000 plus 3,000, meron ka ng ichimang sen yen, di ba? Na magagastos mo pag ikaw ay nag-travel dito. Currently, the Ken Min Wari Travel Discount Scheme of the government applies to travel within a regional block. The central government provides through prefectural governments up to 5,000 yen per person per night to cover 50 packs of user travel expenses and coupons worth up to 2,000 yen per person. So meron ding nag-a-apply ngayon na Ken Min Wari travel discount naman na mas mababa compared dun sa kanilang ipoprovide. Ito naman ay 5,000 yen per person per night para sa travel allowance and 2,000 yen per person. Now worth Ano to? Coupons worth of 2,000 yen. Prefectural governments will each decide whether to join the new campaign based on the local coronavirus infection situation. The central government will announce later when the initiative will begin and whether it will cover the country's bond summer vacation period. Itong Obon Festival ay kanilang i-utilize para mas makahikayat ng mga turista na mag-travel dito. The Ken Minwari scheme has been introduced as a substitute for the Go to Travel Nationwide Travel campaign which was suspended in December 2020 due to a resurgence of the virus. So itong Ken Minwari na nag-e-effect ngayon ay kapalit or replacement ng Go to Travel na nasuspend last 2020. And i-check natin na mabilisan ang COVID-19 cases in Japan and worldwide as of June 18, 2022. So as of June 18, ayan, um, medyo pababa naman na ang trend ng mga nagkakasakit ngayon. So as of today ay nasa 14,700 plus ang may COVID dito sa Japan. So ito yung tali nila, cumulative cases in Japan, um, 9,124,945 and yesterday ay 14,709 ang nagkaroon ng COVID case. Pero 8,954,007 ang recoveries at mayroong 31,002 deaths. Pero yesterday ay 18 deaths ang na-register. And mayroong severe cases na so medyo bumaba na siya ngayon. Minus 4,219 na. And 139,936 yung cumulative severe cases. And nangunguna pa din sa dami ng COVID cases by prefecture and Tokyo with um, 1,570,000 plus and then sumunod yung Osaka with 996,220 and then Kanagawa, Saitama, Aichi, Chiba, Fukuoka, Hyogo, Hokkaido at uh, kung ano-ano pa, yan no? So at least medyo bumababa na sa Gifu and sa area namin ay nasa 105,198 and by age naman medyo mas tumataas ang death ang fatality rate sa mga over 90 or 80 eh, no? medyo nag tumataas yung trend from 70 years old to 80 to 90 mas tumataas yung trend ng mga fatality rate pero yung mga confirmed cases by age ay mas pababa ng pababa so mas maraming nagkakasakit ang mga nasa age from age 10 to age 49 o diba sobrang laki ng difference so ayun guys nagustuhan nyo ba ang video na to kung nagustuhan nyo please like this video at mag comment na din kayo at i-share nyo na rin to sa mga naghihintay ng update related sa travel ban dito sa Japan. So, hindi pa talaga fully nakakapasok lahat dito. Although, nag tumatanggap na sila ng application para sa mga turista at syempre sa iba't iba pang mga visa. Okay? So, mas malawak na ngayon yung uh, tinatanggap nila mga visa application dito sa Japan. Okay? So, please like and share this video at huwag nyong kalimutang mag-subscribe. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, mag-subscribe ka na at hit mo yung notification bell para lagi kang updated sa aming mga susunod pang i-upload ng mga videos at sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe ano pang hinihintay nyo mag-subscribe na kayo okay so wag nyo rin kalimutang i-check yung aming YouTube homepage muntahan nyo yung playlist dahil marami kami yung playlist dyan na makakatulong sa inyong pamumuhay pagdating ninyo dito sa Japan okay so maraming salamat ulit sa panonood this is Alan and I will see you on our next video wag nyo kalimutang i-check yung mga videos na lalabas dito sa screen ayan na